Good morning. Good morning. Well, here we go today. I have no idea if... Uh, uh, let's see how this all unfolds. Good morning. Let's see how this all unfolds. So, <clears throat> the over and over and over again, it, it becomes so clear um, having in some ways, uh, move past the mind, become aware of the mind, uh, become aware of ego, become aware of the story. Um, it becomes so painfully clear that that uh, uh, most all of us are living in this story. We're living in the the <clears throat> the thought of I am whatever it is you think you am, and. Um, and hardly any of us, very few of us, have have gone past that. You know, all the teachings that were that you know. I think the people who watch uh, this, you know, are aware of the teachings, and and the, all the teachings tell us, all the masters have told us over and over and over again, that um, from the mind. You know, we're always going to be in a certain level of confusion. We're always going to be pretending. We're always going to be putting up the mask. We're always going to be coming from fear, and because the mind is conditioned that way, that's just a fact. I'm, I'm not making that shit up. This isn't something that I've dreamt up, <laughs> uh, but it's something that I've experienced and lived, right? And and uh, so my message today to you, you know, it, I'd love it if you hang in and listen to the to the end of it but <coughs> it doesn't matter my message to you and to me over and over again a reminder that that uh, we um from the mind we can't run the show we can't there's no way to run the life and um but the mind says well just give me another chance the mind says you know I, i'm sure i can do better next time the mind says uh, you know study another book and uh, so we go deep into some of the teachings, like Eckhart. Eckhart says, be here now. Everything that ever is, was, or ever will be is now. I think Jesus said that. You know, um, be still and know that I am God. You know, the teachings of Christianity, the teachings of Buddha, you know, um, to not be in a position to take the middle road, you know. Uh, all all of the, you know, I'm... I, I like the story of Ram Das. Ram Das, uh, you know, was a was was a pretty smart cookie, and uh, uh, he was at Harvard. He was a researcher. He was a head of a department. He was, uh, you know, he was a pretty smart cookie. But he realized that the more he went into uh, human behavior, the more he studied human behavior, because uh, he was in the psychology department uh, at Harvard. It's a big deal. Um, in in that world, in the in the dualistic world, that's a big deal. And and the more he got in there, and he realized that <clears throat> nobody really knew what was going on, no, not just there, but nobody that he talked to really had an idea of of how to be here, you know. And so, you know, he was more than curious. He was maybe obsessed with finding what was happening here. Why were we here? You know, when we come into the planet and we come in as, as little infants, you know, and everybody agrees with me when I say, look at the love of a little baby. It's like, oh, my gosh, you know, uh, I can even watch a baby being born on TV without crying, you know, and, and or feeling this, this amazing feeling of love because that's how we come in. That's who we are. We are that love. We are that. All right. And then we get con it conditioned out of us. And so by the time that Ramdas got to Harvard, or maybe even before, he realized that something was missing. And what was it? What was it that we had ground out of us, you know, through, through religion, through, through uh, discipline, through, uh, teachings, you know? And, and uh, so he, he, he became, that became his research, you know, and eventually... Uh, he did a lot of research around psychedelics and realized that there was an altered state, but he couldn't live there. And uh, so he went to um, India and he found his guru who who was already beyond the mind. And, and uh, 
and was a bit of a uh, trickster and a prankster for sure. Uh, great stories of Ramdas and his guru, and and Ramdas had an awakening. He realized, you know, and it all fell away, all the conditioning, and and uh, so he lived an amazing life of teaching and and giving back and living on purpose, you know, and, and uh, was a great storyteller. So, you know, if th there's so many examples of great minds that, you know actually were curious or motivated or desperate enough to look past the mind. You know, to look past the mind or inspired enough to look past the mind to, okay, what's really going on here? So if, if you're living any, in any way and you, and you are curious, you're like, okay, how do I do this? You know, um, that's the beginning. We have to recognize that, that the level we're living you know, and Hawkins talks about it a lot. You know, we're living often in the lower dimensions of guilt and shame and fear. And at the level we're living, um, we can never really uh, be happy, joyous, and free. We can never, you know, so in the 12 steps, we talk about being skyrocketed into the fourth dimension. Imagine it. It says we get skyrocketed into the fourth dimension. And, and uh, you know, which is, is an, an altered state, isn't it? It's not the, the dimension that we're normally living in. and Because and, uh, um, we're living in a dimension of fear and, and, and anger and guilt and shame and resentment sometimes, you know. And, and even in gratitude, you know, it, which is gratitude really does grease the wheel to going beyond the mind. But... Gratitude still has judgment. Gratitude says, I'm grateful for this. I'm not so grateful for that. You know, so we can be in gratitude and still be in a dualistic world, right? But there's a, you know, when we move past, Hawkins has a scale and he talks about in unconditional love. And we're in unconditional love. There's no judgment, right? There's just the one. And, and, uh, and on his scale, which goes to a, a thousand, what's interesting in it, it, that this Christ consciousness that is uh, at the top of his scale, we're already there, okay? We, we are already there. It's just clouded by, you know, by beliefs and by conditioning. So we are already there. Hi, Linda Switzer. You are Christ consciousness, Right? And so we don't have to attain it. We have to learn it. The mind says, oh, if I study enough books, I can become. No, no, we are that. We are that. And as we surrender, as we let go of judgment, as we let go of fear, as we let go of our old stories, we, that's what is unfolded. That's what is, is bared, you know. Um, so that's, that's the trick. And, and so... <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> um, part of the path is helping others to see that, to awaken. Part of the path is meditation. You know, the, and through meditation, we drop past the mind. If, 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 uh, uh, you know, the, that's the possibility. We let go of all of our stories. I love Ram Das talked about becoming nobody. Becoming nobody. And when we're not somebody hanging on to something, we then, you know, really expose the Christ consciousness within us, the God within us. We are that. So that's my message over and over and over again. You know, it's in the, you know, I love what I love about the 12 steps is it, it actually takes us to that. We recognize in the first step that we we're powerless over whatever the addiction was, and it could be to an idea. I was talking to a lady the other day who was, you know, clearly became aware that she was addicted to the idea of a victim story in her life. That she was, you know, she really got that everything had been built around that, you know, that that she had been abused. I'm not saying that, that she didn't have unfortunate events. We all have. No question, you know. But she would built her house on that. And, and fear of men, and fear of, of uh, you know, of vulnerability, fear of love. Uh, because of a story and and, uh, and addicted to the story. So um, the interesting thing is that with the mind, we cannot move out of that. We have to just surrender it, let it go, just drop it. And and what is there is the next level of, of you know, acceptance and, and uh, joy and love when we move into this unconditional state and beyond the Christ consciousness, if possible, it's there. We are there.
you know, isn't to be attained. It's already there. So that's that's the message over and over and over again. <laughs> <coughs> I was telling you guys yesterday, I went and got a, a test, you know, you have a cold. <coughs> yeah, you know, if you have a cold, you have to go get a test. So I actually have had this cold for a while and, and I've been twice and my uh, um, tests came back um, positively negative. <laughs> uh, positively negative, which I'm grateful for. And uh, um, so I, I'm just having a cold. There you go. I think it's the 13th, isn't it? Look at January flying by. Flying by. So I read from this little book sometimes, and I love it. Sometimes it has just amazing pieces in it, you know, and about surrender. Because the whole, you know, 12-step world is, is a surrender program. We become aware, and then we surrender. We become aware, and then we surrender. And uh, so I love to uh, to read from this little book. And uh, it often talks about, you know, the actual addiction, you know, whether it was drinking or drugging or um, back in those days, it didn't talk about, you know, all the things that we do now, the the 12-step world has encompassed gambling and sex and <coughs> <coughs> work over Workers Anonymous, Emotions Anonymous, Trauma Anonymous. I mean, it's really uh, expanded these, the solution, which is a relationship with, the, with God um, or higher power, however you see it. It's really expanded the solution into, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> into all areas of the illusion. Um, really into all areas of the illusion. And, and so my job is to try and, is to wake some folks up, to be here to possibly awaken us. And, and uh, um, so hang on to the seat of your pants. This ship's taken off. You're on it. When we're drinking, it says, it talks about the addiction, we're living an unnatural life, physically and mentally. We were punishing our bodies by loading them with alcohol, drugs, whatever the addiction was. We didn't eat enough and we ate the wrong things. We didn't get enough sleep or the right kind of rest. We were ruining ourselves physically. We had an alcoholic obsession and we couldn't imagine life without drinking or using. We kept imagining all kinds of crazy things about ourselves and about other people. <laughs> We were uh, ruining ourselves mentally. And then he said, since I came into the 12-step world, am I getting pretty, uh, uh, am I getting better physically and mentally? Well, you know, and th those are all parts of the awakening. You know, I mean, I think it's okay to look after our body and to become aware of the crazy mind. Meditation for the day. I believe that my life is being refined like gold in a crucible. Uh, gold does not stay in the crucible only until it is refined. It does not stay in the crucible, only until it is refined. I'll never despair or be despondent. I now have friends who long for me to conquer. If I uh, should err or fail, it would cause pain and disappointment to them. I'll keep trying. I will keep living a better life. So he, he talks a lot. Sometimes he gets caught up in the right and wrong and good and bad, but... Uh, I, 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 let him, I give him a pass on that. I, prayer for the day. I pray that I may always call on God's strength. While the goal of my life is being refined, I pray that I may see it through with God's help. So, we are, you know, almost, it's almost a lie in a way to say that we're being polished because what we're doing is being exposed. And what's happening is that what's not necessary is dropping away. So just just look at that. And what's not necessary is dropping away. And what's there is, you know, is the, the, the Christ consciousness within, the love within. Our true essence, our natural state is a state of unconditional love and beyond. So know that, we, you know, the work we're doing to become aware 
of what it is that we are surrendering and letting go of um, is, um, is so that we expose who we truly are. Okay. I am going to... Um, we're, we're going to do a little meditation. I'd love you to join me. Uh, we've been at this for a few minutes so far, but let's just... Let's do a little meditation together. You guys in? Um, and the, the reason that I lead these or I share these meditation times is, again, just to drop inside, have that quiet moment. Uh, many of us just don't do it. And, and uh, um, so in that quiet moment, you know, we're not on social media. In that quiet moment, we can become aware of our of our mind, thought, you know, and recognize that we're not our mind, we're not our thoughts. In this quiet moment, we can just drop into nothingness, no idea of ourselves. We're not a man, and we're not a woman. We're not a for anything or against anything. Um, you know, we're not old or we're not young. It, you know, we don't have any story at all. We're just here now in this moment. There's no past. There's no next. There's no future. There's just now. And this meditation time together is a practice, if, it, if you will, to being here now. And everything, everything, everything that's in the universe is in this moment. The illusion is that it's in the past or the future. <coughs> There is no past. There is no future. Just it's all a construct in the mind. Be here now. Thoughts come up. Thoughts come up. Just let them go. Just surrender them. Say thank you and let it go.
Okay. Just come back in the middle. Take your time. But don't come back at all. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us. soon. Just a couple of quick things. Uh, we did an interview yesterday with, uh, thank you Tina, did an interview yesterday with Simon. It was really quite beautiful. You have a look at it. It's on YouTube. Uh, it's also on Facebook. But it was a really nice interview yesterday afternoon. Um, Simon's a meditation teacher uh, who's had some really amazing awakened experiences. And uh, I have another one coming up in, I think in Thursday with uh, Eric, a friend of mine, Eric Mortimer. Um, I'm going to try to do two or three a week just to, you know, see how people are doing and uh, allow people to, the venue to share their experience. Okay, love you lots. See you next time.